Hello everyone! Welcome to Meek Zero's Blender Basics for Beginners Part 2. Today, we'll cover the things I missed in the previous tutorial. Let's start with learning how to split the screen. Now, we're going to cover split screening. This is probably the most asked question on YouTube and I have to reply to people daily and constantly to get people to know this. So I'm finally putting it on the tutorial. Now this is actually pretty easy and you're going to probably hit yourself over the head for it, but don't feel bad. I had a little bit of trouble trying to find it too. You see where my mouse is now? Just use the right mouse button, click there, and you see split area, join area, and no header. Don't click no header. <laughs> Go to split area, click, and you got that. Now I clicked with my left mouse button. You could also do something else. Now I'm going to right click, I'm going to join area, and I'm going to just left click, and this brings my menu back. I'm going to do this again, split area, and I'm going to use middle mouse button, click, got that now. And you could do like whatever you want with this, go like that, you could go like this, and you could have four screens, or as many screens as you could possibly ever want that that you could fit on your screen. Mine's pretty big so it's can fit quite a lot, but I just like to use two. That's all you really need, maybe even top view, but that's totally up to you. I myself am going to go with only two screens. So I'm going to join areas again, and ta-da! That's how you split the screen. Okay, now that we have a split screen, let's cover some of the menus in Blender. And that's right here, on this bar. First things first, before you start meshing or anything, you want to make sure that both your views are facing the correct way. As you can see, we have a blue line and a red line on both of them. That Those are called axis. And to be more specific, I'm going to press the size button, I'm going to press X, X button, well actually, the X axis is the X axis. It go, It's the red line that you see there. The Z axis is the blue line that's going down. But you can't, you can't really see the green one and that's the y-axis. You can't see it now. I'm gonna press enter, get me out of size mode without doing anything. You could also do that by pressing size, do that. If you don't want it, you could just use the right mouse button. And it's back to the way it was. Real easy. And here's how you change the view. Go to the view button on the menu, and go up, and you want your and you want to click side for this one. Now you can see the green axis, which is Y. This is the Y axis. And this is how you actually, I know I've covered this in the other tutorial, but this is a really good way to just do uh, size on one side and not the other. See how the front view? Actually, that's the top view. It You can't see it moving. Wait. Oh, it's already on the front. Yay! In the top view, you see the green and red. Front view, you see the blue and red. Okay. And we, we could also do no, press and unlock and go to your num keys. You could also get to side view by pressing the three. And of course, you could do that for anyone. 1 is front view, 3 is side, and 7 is top. And 2 will go like that, 6 will go like this, 4 will like that, and so on. That's 8. 5 goes into camera view. And those are basically the shortcuts to 
getting your view. Learn them well. You're going to be using them quite a lot and the more you get used to using them it's going to be a lot easier for you to work in Blender. Okay, back to the menus. We got tons of different things. We got the background image. This is very important. You're going to be using this if you want to have a reference to your image anywhere on the page for side views and front views. In order to get a background image, you click that, use background image, click load. Now I have a lot of different ones. I'm not going to really use it, I'm just going to show you what to do. I'm just going to go to, let's do Cuddle Sprite. And this is my picture for my Cuddle Sprite, which is actually going to be in a distant in the future game called Nelodia. And if you've seen my other pictures, uh, it might say that it's a comic. Don't, it's not going to be a comic anymore. It's going to be a straight up game, and that's going to be one of the creatures you find. Okay, and you basically do that for this one too if you have a side image. I don't really have a side image of a cuddle sprite, so I'm going to just stop that. Go to that one, X, X, and that gets rid of it. And now we have, and this is all the cameras, the side, the top, camera, user, all of that fun stuff. And we won't go over these much. I haven't really messed around with them a lot. You don't really need to mess around with them now or anytime soon. And we got the select. This one basically goes with all the select options. We got edge ring, edge loop, less, more, non-triangles, quads, which basically deselects everything. Random, a bunch of stuff that you won't wind up using. The only select tool that you'll be using in this tutorial is the box select tool. That's B, if you remember correctly. Gotta remember it. That's the only way, and you gotta use it quickly. Just press B again, and now we got a circle. We, and it's basically a brush. If you ever use Photoshop, you'll know what I mean. You can resize the brush by using your scroll mouse and make it as big or as tiny as you want to. Tiny more leaves more definition, etc. etc. And we just click and select everything. And of course, I'm going to deselect with A. And here's another. This is called faces and edges and vertices. These are something that you'll be doing when the mesh is nearly complete. Depending if you want the mesh to be for a game or for a simple animation movie project, if you need it for a game, eventually you will need to make your mesh triangle triangular. If you don't, then so most game engines won't recognize the model. They don't recognize quads. Only Blender and some other engine that The Sims uses recognizes quads. So when you ever need to, just select all, go to mesh, select faces, and convert quads to triangles. And now all of our faces are converted to triangles. And it works for any meshes too. You just need to select the faces. And you could also do it the opposite way, convert triangles to quads. And we got a box again. It's magic. <laughs>